we did a collaborative uh, phase three study together aiming at comparison of azacitin-based therapy versus stem cell transplantation in higher risk MDS patients. So my abstract focused on um, the role of the intestinal microbiota, which is the bacteria within our intestines, and their potential impact to serve as biomarkers for response to chimeric antigen receptor T-cell therapy. We are happy to live in this exciting time of development, new drugs and hematology, and also new cellular therapy approach. So usually the Van Beckham Award is the highest award EBMT can give. This is uh, the award at the annual meeting, and it's the highest ranked abstract from all submitted abstracts. And this year it was chosen by a study which was performed by the German NDS study group and the German transplant study group, uh, comparing a transplant approach with a non-transplant approach in elderly patients with myelodysplastic syndrome. The reason why we received this award is uh, because we did a collaborative uh, phase three study together aiming at comparison of azacitin-based therapy versus stem cell transplantation in higher risk MDS patients. I'm coordinating a cooperative transplant study group in Germany and it was important to motivate as many transplanters as possible to partic participate in such a trial which was asking a disease-specific question. Transplantation is one part of the treatment algorithm uh, for uh, patients mainly with higher risk MDS so the idea was to bring both expertise of both groups together. It's, it's a day-to-day -day interaction which uh, referring hematologists treating these patients with MDS have with the transplanters and this was kind of fostered by these groups interacting with each other. This is something we would call is uh, practice changing because until now it was considered those people will not benefit from the transplant because it's a risky procedure and they should more go for non-transplant abroad. The selection for the best basic award this year is something which has to do with CAR T cells, which is an exciting new field, but it has to do with another scientific, highly exciting field. This is microbiome. And in the, in the last two years, there is increasing knowledge about this microbiome, how this is influenced specific disease and outcome. My abstract focused on um, the role of the intestinal microbiota, which is the bacteria within our intestines, and their potential impact to serve as biomarkers for response to chimeric antigen receptor T cell therapy. So we found that there was a clear dichotomy in terms of the bacterial abundances in the patients who received CAR T cells and had a complete response or experienced toxicity. And then there was abundance of different bacteria that was found in those patients who had no complete response and no toxicity. We're excited that we have this platform to share it and also have this discourse and dialogue with other scientists to hear their feedback. I will tell you this evening, in the next 30 minutes before you get to your, your dinner, something about the problem that maybe you have not heard a lot about it. This is about loss of biodiversity. EBMT TV is brought to you from the 45th annual meeting of the EBMT in Frankfurt, Germany. For more like this, then you can click on some of these great videos. And don't forget to subscribe for more of the best in medicine, from cell therapy to gynaecology, from genetics to psychology.